If a death match breaks out in the woods, but there's no one around to hear it, does it make a sound? Who cares, it's still awesome. And you're not. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie fights in a forest. <laughs> Nothing makes a fight more intense than having its combatants square off in the timeless, sometimes primitive elements of Mother Nature. For this list, we're excluding all the larger-than-life war scenes to list only the tree-lined fights that are dramatic and personal. This means scenes like Rambo gunning down an entire army from a stationary gun are out. Back there, I can fly a gunship. I can drive a tank. I was in charge of million-dollar equipment. Back here, I can't even hold the job. Fucking cars! However, since some of these are the final showdowns in their respective films, there may be some spoilers ahead. So, spoiler alert. Number 10, Jaguar Paw versus Middle Eye, Apocalypto. When Jaguar Paw escapes his own involuntary sacrifice and seeks to rescue his trapped family, his adventure culminates in a showdown between him and one of his lead antagonists, Middle Eye. It's a quick fight, with Middle Eye delivering one taunting word as he's on his knees half alive. Almost, he says. A reference to both his own proximity to death and his taunting, recurring nickname for Paw, who almost escaped the raiders that ravaged his city when they captured him. You miss. Do stop Number nine, L.T. Bonham versus Aaron Hallam, The Hunted. <laughs> Hallam, a renegade war vet that battles his PTSD demons by murdering people in the wilderness. <laughs> can only be stopped by his trainer. And this is the showdown we've been waiting for. I made him what he is and I can stop him. It could be the talents of its A-list actors, the nature of the characters, or the suspense that drives the scene. But there's no denying how it moves us in a way that's about as visceral and adrenaline-fueled as a pay-per-view fight night. Number 8. Major Alan Dutch Schaefer versus The Predator, Predator. Come on, come on. Kill me, I'm here, kill me! These testosterone-fueled jungle scenes are literally and allegorically about man versus beast. What the hell are you? They're also a commentary on hunting, military competence, fear, strategy, and sacrifice. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. Watching Dutch set traps and make mud masks for this hunter alien fills us lowly popcorn munchers full of survivalist metaphors. And even manages to best the Yakuza sword fight from the follow-up Predators, which is also pretty damn cool. <laughs> In addition, there's enough Arnold Schwarzenegger quotables to secure the scene's place in pop culture on its own. You're one ugly motherfucker. Number seven, Ihe Misawa versus Samurai After the Rain. Well, the beauty of this humble swordsman scene shows the late Akira Kurosawa's influence, as it's based on his last script and directed by his longtime assistant director. Yamemashu. <laughs> Particularly unique is the protagonist's attitude, character, and skill set during every fight he's in. Effortless, overskilled, even somewhat disinterested. <laughs> There's a certain subtlety with the traditional choreography. Blood spurts. <laughs> and sound effects that nods to a classic minimalist style, especially for its time. <laughs> Number 6, Wolverine vs. Spike, X-Men 3, The Last Stand. 
while Wolverine takes on Magneto's entire brotherhood of mutants during a search for the Phoenix. He trades blows with a mutant that tosses a seemingly endless supply of claws his way. It's a relatively even matched fight, with just enough differences between the two claw-based brawlers to keep us guessing about who has the upper hand, in a manner of speaking. Number 5. Dalton vs. Jimmy, Roadhouse Prepare to die. You are such an asshole. Dalton is the bar bouncer that Psycho Jimmy does not want to mess with. Opinions vary. It's the 80s action movie to end them all, thanks to its camp, raunch, and unintentional hilarity. <laughs> but that doesn't take away from the excellence of its fight scenes. Do you want to fight, dickless? This was a time when long takes and wide shots showing every bit of the action were the norm. And mullets and shocking one-liners weren't off-limits. I used to f guys like you in prison. When was the last time you saw an action hero rip out another man's throat with his bare hands? Number 4. Jay Hamilton vs. Chris Vaughn, Walking Tall The deathmatch here all started with a corrupt casino boss and his drug-running employees. You're joking, right? And Chris, the new sheriff in town, isn't having any of that. This is my town. He's bigger and bruter than Hamilton, but even though he's the rock, we can't help but wonder how he'll overpower an axe-wielding villain. <laughs> while armed with nothing but his busted leg. <laughs> Turns out, in a pinch, a tree stump is an impressive and resourceful weapon. <laughs> Number 3. Iron Man vs. Thor, The Avengers You have no idea what you're dealing with. Uh... Shakespeare in the Park? There are forest rangers and environmentalists that would definitely disapprove of the destruction in this scene. The two are fighting over Iron Man's conviction that Thor is risking their mutual enemy Loki's escape. This is beyond you, Metal Man. Loki will face Asgardian justice. He gives up the cube, he's all yours. And it's Norse God versus Machine, Hammer versus Suit. Stay out of the way. But even so, this fight ends in a draw the moment Captain America breaks it up. Hey! That's enough! It's a bit torturous to the audience, but in a good way, because it looks like they were just getting started. Number two. Jake Sully versus Colonel Miles Quaritch, Avatar. You think you're one of them? Time to wake up. When a heavily armed colonel is attacking his defensive ex-marine in a battle for Pandora, the underdog is made very clear. I kind of hoped you'd say that. Besides the groundbreaking visual effects, this fight fuels our fix for metaphors of man versus nature, strength versus agility, and all the dichotomies that are compounded by the character's personal principles and motivations. Hey Sully, how's it feel to betray your own race? There are good reasons that made this the highest grossing film of all time. Before we reveal our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. What do you know about two hearts and loyalty?
Number 1. Optimus Prime vs. Megatron Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Come here, boy. Megatron is resurrected, and he wants Sam Witwicky and his friends terminated post-haste. Wow. Over Optimus Prime's dead body. Hide Sam! Reviews of the first film criticized it for fast cutting and overuse of camera shake, and none of that is to be had this time. This forest fight is clear, realistic, and engaging enough to make us question how some of its shots were accomplished. It's also pretty violent for any children watching, but that's kinda awesome. Do you agree with our list? Now what the hell were they doing here? Which forest fights did we miss? For more tree-lined top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Why? Why? Why?